right, Zinigami here. We haven't done this in a while, but it's time for some One Piece Treasure Cruise news. On the global version of One Piece Treasure Cruise, we have the Jinbei Zero Stamina Island coming out soon. Jinbei Zero Stamina Island is uh, placed before Whitebeard Zero Stamina, uh, but it is harder than Whitebeard. I'd probably put it as harder than Whitebeard, but a little bit easier than Algae. If you want to know what it's like, I would highly recommend checking out Game With Guide. Game With, uh, you can go to my Twitch channel, type in exclamation on Game With, or Google Game With One Piece, you might be able to get it there. It is a Japanese site, uh, but they have a lot of very, very good guides, and I highly recommend checking them out for your uh, guide stuff. But the reward for beating Jinbei Zero Sam is you get his Sun Pirate's ship. The ship is boost the attack and hit points of fighter characters depending on how many fighters you have. Uh, so the more fighters you have, the larger the boost. You really only want to use it if you're using a team of uh, six fighters, if at all possible. He also sharply reduces the attack and health of non-fighter characters. So the uh, non-fighter character, you actually also can use this to take advantage of zombie teams. Like you can use this with a uh, Pell Captain or something like that because it does drop the attack and health of non-fighter characters if you're using a zombie team. Although the better one is probably using like the Kuja ship since that one uh, it doesn't come out yet that's Hancock's ship. That only reduces your health but doesn't reduce your attack. Also the powerhouse ship, Tom's worker ship, is also much better as a zombie ship. So that one also reduces your health but not the attack of other characters, the Rocket Man ship. So that's going to be coming soon on Global, that's going to be coming on the 13th. Smoker Ranking Mission is also going to be coming to Global soon. Smoker Ranking Mission is going to be the uh, do total damage throughout the entire island. So you want to use characters, uh, you want to try to burst several times probably to do Smoker Mission and just total damage dealt. Specials do not count. And in Global News, there's also that all the movie characters, the movie Fortnites and the movie raid bosses are going to be leaving global. The announcement says something about uh, not planning on coming back anytime soon. We don't quite know if that means they're never coming back. I would expect that they're going to be gone for a very long time, but I'd also expect them to come back maybe with other One Piece news, like if um, a One Piece a One Piece movie gets an official release, another release on global, I mean, on in English or something like that, or some other movie news comes out, Bandai might make another promotion and release movie content again with that. But expect bosses like Shiki and Zephyr and Fortnite's like uh, the Guild of Sword Fortnite and Raid Boss Guild of Sword to be gone for a while. It's quite quite unfortunate. But it does seem like those fights are going to be missing from One Piece Global for a while. And it does seem like they're going to stay missing on Japan for a while. But on brighter news, on the Japanese version of One Piece Treasure Cruise, we have Christmas Toshigi. That's going to be coming out on the 13th to the 27th, Christmas Toshigi. Make sure you just wait for a Sugo Fest because there will be Sugo Fest in that time period. You can do your Sugo pulls and maybe you get Christmas Toshigi there. You can see more art on the official One Piece Treasure Cruise Twitter. You can, there's also going to be a Soldier and Rebecca Fortnite coming out soon. The Soldier and Rebecca Fortnite, the skill books for those are Rob Lucci. That's six star Rob Lucci's skill book. There is uh, Ray, uh, Rare Recruit Toshigi, Blue Toshigi, Thick Shigi. There's Ricky Sentomaru, Rare Recruit Sentomaru, the Army Wolf from Story Mode, Sal Death from Story, Buffalo from Rare Recruit, Monet. Frankie, uh, and, and Story Mode Frankie. Evolve Story Mode Frankie, because I guess the skills are different. So those are the skill books for the Soldier and Rebecca Fortnite. And most importantly, the most exciting thing we can talk about today is version 7.0 is coming out soon on Japan. Version 7.0 has, uh, I mean, we are, we don't know exactly what a lot of these things are talking about. A lot of these things are new features and every single time there's a big version, I always, always recommend you guys to make sure your account is saved by SNS. So that means make sure you go through the options and connect your account 
to Facebook or Twitter and that's specifically using the SNS feature, not just the tweet things out for the snails feature because you never know if somehow the update just makes your account break with your current device or not. So make sure you have your account saved before the version update happens so you don't lose your account. And I don't have to, I don't have to sit here and go, oh, you have to contact Bandai Namco support because they're the only people who can help you with that. So the uh, what it actually says is the most exciting thing, the very first big thing is you can, there is something about super evolving characters or a new 5 star plus and 6 star plus. So this is, this is by far the most exciting thing, 5 star plus and 6 star plus characters. There is some way to, uh, we don't know how this is going to work yet, no idea how it's going to work, but it sounds like either all or more likely specific 5 star characters and 6 star characters might get a updated evolution where you can do some sort of evolving beyond that. I expect the system to be something that you do after you max the level out to improve the characters further. further. Like a like the cotton candy system that we have, that's a way to improve ca characters once you get them past their max level and stuff like that. So that 5 star plus, 6 star plus version. That's gonna be pretty interesting. I hope that they don't give all six star characters a six star plus. I hope that it's like an update to older six star characters, Cough Cough, Hancock, um, or some of the other weaker characters to maybe bring them up to, I don't know, maybe certain fiery fisting six star character levels because they're ridiculous. So something like that would be nice. And five star characters that don't see as much love like some of the worst uh, story, uh, some of the worst early characters. Maybe make a evolution to Soga King that's actually worth evolving to Soga King for, or something like that. There's also going to be a new filter button on your character box. That's the character box buttons here. There's gonna be a new button on here that's something about type restrictions. I'm not sure if that's uh, that you can restrict type, like I don't want to see red characters, I don't want to see blue characters, or I don't want to see slashers or something like that. So that might be it, non-slasher, non-fighter, stuff like that. Uh, type restriction button on the filters. There is going to be a new type of uh, island that's going to be a double stamina, double drop island. So I don't know, we don't know if this is for story mode or for Fortnite Islands, but this is going to, the island is going to cost twice the number of stamina. And it's either going to be, you'll get twice the drops out of it, like Haruta works where you get extra drops, or it's going to be uh, twice the drop rate. It's unclear right now, it just says two times the stamina, two times the drops. I would like it to be, takes twice the stamina, but gives you twice the drop output because then you'd be just easier to do raid bosses and stuff like that. If a raid boss has twice the stamina, twice the drops. Of course, then you'd have to do 120 stamina raid bosses, but getting two copies of raid boss for 120 stamina sounds pretty good. Or even story mode. That's ba it, for story mode, that basically would be just doing twice the runs in the same amount of time, which is a huge time saver, and I'd be, I would l definitely look forward to that. There's also going to be a new some kind of voice option or some, or some kind of voice something. We're not sure what it is, something in the title, some voice title. Maybe it's on the home screen. Maybe Luffy's voice is gonna change the uh, Shekoda that Luffy does at the beginning. Maybe that will change. Some kind of new voice something in the title. Uh, there is going to be a new barrier display option. And that is the information that you see whenever you click on buffs right now. <clears throat> if you click on a buff, then like on a buff either on the bottom left hand corner or an enemy debuff it tells you a little bit about the buff like a tight buff or an orb buff it tells you what it does and since there are many many more barriers there's now a way for you to tell uh, you can now click on the barrier or tap on the barrier in game on japan and it will tell you what type of barrier it is like hit perfects to break it or make sure you have a matching color orb on the character to break it or something like that so there's gonna be some text on there that pops up of course if you can't read japanese like i can't uh, it doesn't mean anything but it's something that is nice for to as a reminder text that we can look forward to on global at some point. There's going to be a change to turtle times. And these are the weekly turtle times that happen on Mondays and Fridays. 
We don't know what the change is. It says more information will be announced later, but that turtle times are going to be changing, or at least the Friday and Monday turtle times are going to be changing at some point. Which is pretty good because I barely did my Monday and Friday turtles on Japan anyways. I still need more turtles on Japan, but with how much other content there is and how many times that I log in and just do my raid bosses or coliseums and stuff and maybe 30 minutes of turtles whenever it's convenient and they have to choose your own turtle times. Those come around so often that I almost never do my Mondays and Fridays anyway. So that's going to be hopefully a nice change for turtles. There is also going to be a bug fix on a Gainu raid. It doesn't affect anything. A Gainu raid is still going to work the same way. The bug fix is that a Gainu sometimes would make it so your health bar appears as empty on his raid in certain conditions. But now that is fixed, so a Gainu will no longer show that you're at zero health when you're not at zero health. And the final bug fix is just miscellaneous bug fixes. And on global version 5.1.2 is going to be coming out. We don't know anything about what global version 5.1.2 is, but that is going to be on December 14th at update o'clock to midnight on global. The service will be down. Make sure you save your account before that happens. That way you don't lose your account, but it'll probably be a smaller update. Yeah, something like uh, Force or some other bug phase. It's not going to be a large update it's just gonna be a smaller update for bug fixes and the like so that's it guys version 5.1.2 coming out for global don't get don't get too excited probably not gonna be anything like really shop or anything like that that'd probably be a big number update or at least like a point something not point point maybe it's removing all the global content <laughs> but that's it and version 7.0 for japan really really looking forward to finding out what five star plus and six star plus is going to be about guys I've been Zinigami. Thank you so much to our Patreon subscribers, Carlos Baron, Super Crazy Echo, Akek, and Pad Magician. If you like what we do here, go to patreon.com slash Zinigami and subscribe. Also, don't forget to like and comment down on the videos because YouTube is changing, changing their algorithms and making it so that way if you don't actually like videos, it like makes videos not show up as often in your feed or something strange like that. I don't know. Everyone's freaking out about it. Just like it if you like it. I mean, I don't, just hang out. Hang out and chat, guys. Have a good day. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and y'all stay beautiful.